going on everybody? Stevie here with another video. I hope everybody's doing well out there. So I'm just going to make a quick video on these swivel stools that I found on Amazon.ca last night. So I was on break. I typed in Arcade One Up in the search bar on Amazon.ca. And as I was kind of scrolling down just to see if there was any deals or anything kind of going on with some of these Arcade One Up products, I found these swivel stools for three of the five legacy caps. Now there's five legacy cabs that Arcade One Up is going to be uh, releasing. Some of them are already shipping now. So you got the MK 30th, which is um, the Midway Legacy Cab that looks like the original Mortal Kombat Cab. So that's already shipping out. They got the Centipede one, uh, which is the Atari Legacy. That's also shipping out. You got a Pac-Mania uh, cabinet, which is the Bandai Namco Legacy Cab. And then you have a Miss Pac-Man that we got leaked to us, which is another Bandai Namco Legacy Cab, but they're not calling it that. They're just calling it the Miss Pac-Man Legacy. And then you have the Yoga Flame Street Fighter Cabinet, which is the Capcom Legacy. So five new Legacy Cabs. And uh, as I was scrolling down Amazon.ca, I found three uh, swivel stools to go with three of the five Legacy Cabs. So... Uh, we're going to take a look at them right now. We'll take a look at the Pac Mania one first. So, this one's for the uh, Bandai Namco Legacy Cabinet. So, this one is probably my favorite out of all three, just because it's so clean and simple. You got Pac Man on the stool uh, area, and then you have Pac Mania on the backing because the swivel stools uh, now have a back to them. So, um, I really like what they're doing with these stools. Uh, technically, I guess it's more of a chair now, but um, I really like how these look. Uh, again, with the Pac-Mania one, I like the simpleness of it and the cleanness of it. Uh, if they ever made one like this for just a Pac-Man cab, and instead of Pac-Mania, they had Pac-Man on the back, I'd be interested in it, J depending on the price. If it's for 200 bucks, I am not interested, but... If these end up going down in price, or again, maybe this is just an Amazon price and what they're going to be sold for uh, through retailers will be different. Um, yeah, if they did a just a Pac-Man version of this, uh, I would be interested. But as far as it being a Pac-Mania one, it's still really nice. And like I said, it's my favorite out of the three. So we're going to look at the uh, MK 30th stool. So this one is really nice looking as well really complements uh, the MK 30th cabinet, which is the original Mortal Kombat theme. Um, the cabinet itself is beautiful. So to basically have a stool that, that really uh, pays tribute to the artwork on that cabinet, you know that stool is gonna look beautiful as well. They have the Mortal Kombat symbol on the stool portion, and then they have the marquee logo on the backing. Uh, so anybody that picks this up for their MK 30th cabinet, uh, it's really going to complement your cabinet and, uh, again, a very beautiful looking stool. So the third one uh, that they released is the Yoga Flame Street Fighter uh, stool. So this one, um, you know, as far as the artwork goes, um, what they did with the cabinet was uh, with Capcom uh, cabinets, a lot of them were conversion cabinets. So basically you would get a cabinet in an arcade and then um, say they want to put a new Capcom game in that cabinet, they'd basically get a marquee, a bezel, a control deck, uh, which was optional if they wanted to switch the control deck because sometimes it had the same button layout, so they would just leave the previous one. And you would get a sticker to go on the side. So sometimes some of these uh, Capcom cabinets, um, they didn't have a specific artwork for the side. So I feel like what Arcade One Up did with this Yoga Flame cabinet was they kind of, I don't want to say pay tribute to that, but they kind of went with the openness of being able to kind of put what they want. And they ended up doing a custom artwork for the side. Now, it's not my cup of tea. I'm more of a traditionalist with how I like my cabinets to look. Uh, so... When I saw this artwork for the Yoga Flame cabinet, I thought it was a little too busy. I thought there was too much going on. But I also thought the same thing when they did that with the um, Marvel vs. Capcom cab. But it ended up kind of growing on me. Uh, but I think with the Marvel vs. Capcom cab, they kind of um, really did well with kind of like... They made some of the characters colored and then they made some of them white. So there was a little bit of like a kind of a, a separation to really um, make your eyes kind of... 
notice certain characters. You know, there was the Marvel characters kind of uh, colored on one side, and then the Capcom characters were white, and then they did the opposite on the other side. Where with this Yoga Flame, it's just kind of one, <laughs> you know, uh, side art with the characters kind of in the flames, and it's just, I don't know, it's really hard to kind of see what's going on. So with this stool, they obviously did the same artwork, and to me, it's just too much busyness. It's not really my cup of tea, but maybe somebody that's a Street Fighter fan, maybe you would like this, and maybe you would like the modernness of the artwork. So those are the three um, legacy swivel stools that are available right now. Uh, like I said, this is on Amazon.ca. So this price that's on there is a Canadian price, and it's it's insane. I mean, I don't know what they were thinking, making these swivel stools $199.99. You know, this should be $100 uh, or less, maybe $75. You know, again, um, maybe this is some type of Amazon price. We're, we're going to see. We're going to see as these stools kind of pop up in different retailers. And like I said, I'm interested to see what the American price is. Um but either way, it's cool to finally see these swivel stools, and I look forward to see um, more swivel stools coming out and uh, how they kind of uh, make them complement the cabinets that they're uh, supposed to kind of go along with. So uh, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.